a homeowner in La Jolla could be facing a million dollar fine. Now, the city attorney's office is pursuing a civil case after reports of major Airbnb house parties during the pandemic. Our Jeff McAdam joins us live from the house with that story. Jeff. Hi, Maria. That's right. The city attorney tells me that she's had her eyes on this house for the better part of two years. But she says building a case has been a challenge, despite the fact that neighbors have called police now at least 30 times. In a quiet La Jolla neighborhood called La Jolla Farms, you'll find an Airbnb listing for this house, reading Cliffside $8 million beach mansion with ocean views. It lists amenities like swimming pools, tennis court, says it sleeps 16 people. I mean, it's just, there's no respect. There, there are people who are here to party for one night, trash the place, and, and leave. And neighbors say it's been happening all too often. Police say they've had at least 30 calls about the house in the past couple years, many of them for noise complaints. Uh, they just, they play music super loud, and they're, they're always yelling, and it's, it's not really good music either. I mean, I'm a musician myself. What we want is compliance. We want to make this neighborhood whole again, and we want every, everybody to remain healthy during the pandemic. City Attorney Mara Elliott launched a complaint Friday morning to shut the property down for operating without a business tax license for starters. She says it's difficult to shut down properties like this because there's no short-term rental regulations in San Diego. So for more than a year, they've had to build a case by finding code violations for things like excessive vegetation, leaving electrical wires exposed, and unprotected mosquito larva in standing water. So an office like mine has to try to independently work with all of these other agencies, the fire department, the police department, the county, to pull together a nuisance case that could take quite a bit of time before we actually get justice. And that's not a good use of taxpayer money. Yeah, and the city attorney says that's why she is in favor of short-term rental regulations. We did reach out to the property manager here Friday afternoon who said that they had uh, shut down the Airbnb as of July, said they had no idea the city was involved. Otherwise, they would have shut it down sooner. However, I just looked at the complaint again, and it says that police have been called out four times in just the month of August. From La Jolla, Jeff McAdam, Fox 5 News.